Hey guys, it's CJ here. I get asked a lot of questions on my YouTube videos and I do my best to answer all of them. But there are some questions that get asked repeatedly and the most popular one undoubtedly is CJ, what is your HUD? So this video is here to show you where to download my HUD, how to install it and how to use some of the features that are included in it. Now my HUD was originally the Garmin 4MP HUD. I spotted it on a vanilla TV video many years ago and I really really liked it so I installed it and I used it for my own but a lot of the updates broke it and because it was no longer updated I couldn't really use it properly but luckily my friend Vhooft has been updating it for me ever since so now it works with all of the updates and he's been adding features that I really like as well so if you're interested in using my HUD then uh, it is fully updated at the moment according to you know at the time of this video um, in accordance with the meet your match update and every time there is a major update that breaks the HUD Vhooft is the one that steps in and helps me out and fixes it for me. Now, to start off with, if you want to download the HUD, we have to head to this website here, fabricator.tf. It's actually a website run by Vhooft. And if you're if you're an MVM player and you want help with uh, filling in your fabricators to make those kill street kits, this is a very helpful website. But it also is the host of the download for my for my HUD. So we have to head to this site here, fabricators.tf forward slash other forward slash CJ HUD dot zip okay I will put the link in the description for you to download it okay so if you go to that website we will get this here we we'll get the download we just save the file obviously you need something like WinRAR to uh, extract the uh, the files once that is downloaded which should happen pretty quickly we head over to your downloads okay and here it is so wherever your stuff gets downloaded that's where you need to go for me it's in downloads uh, right click extract here bam there we go CJ HUD 4MP and if we look inside it's got all of these different things um, all of the different HUD files okay but this is the folder that we need here okay then you gotta head over to your TF folder now your TF folder is located um, wherever your Steam is installed so probably program files Steam then you go into Steam apps common Team Fortress 2 and then TF okay and this is where you know if you run PREC this is where your demos get recorded um, and it's got all of your you know things like maps and stuff like that okay now you need to have a folder called custom now I'm not sure if custom is in there by default if it is great if not just make a new folder called custom okay and if we go in there we can see I already have my HUD folder in there now if you were to, to do it all you need to do is drag that and put it in there if I do that it will say Oh no, there's lots of stuff already in there. So I'm not going to do it because it's already in there. Um, it's also got my configs in different bits, but that's all you need to do. So you need to go inside the TF and then inside the custom folder. Okay. So now that HUD is installed. That is installed. That is done. And now you can, when you next time you start up TF2, the HUD should be active and working. Okay. I'm going to take a look in game now and I'm going to show you some of the things that the HUD can do. Um, that you know the default HUD can't do it by itself and it's quite helpful so we'll have a look and jump in game so here we are this is the main menu this is what the main menu looks like on my HUD um, and it should just work normally it pretty much speaks for itself on all of the different things man versus machine you go on there multiplayer competitive everything like that um, you just click on it um, if we take a look at the backpack um, this is what the backpack looks like there's you know different sizes on things on to do with the loadouts um, so my HUD has A and D which enables me to excuse me flip through the pages I'm not sure if the default HUD allows that but this one does um, and if we go back here we can see the loadouts um, and you know the, the size of the uh, the size of the things here are, are larger and uh, I think they use the the HD textures as well so um, they look slightly nicer but obviously you can rotate your your character by clicking on him with the first mouse button and, and spinning him around um, but something this also does is if I right click I can zoom in and zoom out okay so I'm just right clicking and moving him forward and backwards now if I press the shift button right, hold down shift and press mouse hold mouse one on him I can actually move him around like this okay which makes you know it much easier if you want to get a, a good look at part of the uh, the character such as you want to you know see a close up of their head for the unusual effect you can hold shift click and hold mouse one and then move them around move them to a more suitable position and then you can just release those buttons so he's locked in place there now he rotates on that axis and then you can right click and zoom in 
you get a real close up of uh, their heads and you can see the clipping that we've got here and you know you can see things like that so if that's uh, the kind of thing you know for example on my engineer um, this is how I make my thumbnails and stuff I just get a good zoom in and you can see like the effects and stuff really really close up um, so that's a useful thing that I can do on my HUD and there's, there's other things like that as well um, but also we can take a look in game and I can show you what the different things mean because um, a lot of people say what does that number on the left mean what's that number on the right mean um, and I can show you what they actually mean so you don't get confused so here we are in game and uh, this is what the HUD looks like now obviously I have view models turned off on my scout so you can't really see it very well but um, you know, I have different crosshairs and things like that but in general this is the layout of the HUD now the number on the far left that is a zero that is your kill streaks so obviously if you uh, start killing players um, in a row without dying then that number will go up so it's kill streaks the one two five close to the left is your health um, if you get buffed above your regular health uh, that number will turn blue and if you go below 50 percent of your health so you know in this case it will be what you know 65 or something like that um, you will it will it will turn red okay which I find really helpful because you know I don't have to look at any portion of the screen it's you know, close to my eye line and if I'm in red then I know that I'm in danger if I'm blue you know I know that I've got a buff um, on the right hand side is your ammo obviously the six is how much is in your current clip whereas uh, the number there the 30 um, is how much ammo you've got in total and the bar in the middle is there if you've got something that is a consumable so obviously I've got the bonk here if I drink it I can run around and uh, you can see that bar has depleted and then it slowly recharges um, and it's fully recharged there when I when I go into the uh, the cabinet and that works with any item that is consumable so it works with a, a cloak for the spy obviously this is a dead ringer if I get feigned which I think I take damage when I stand here there you go and then it will go down and it'll go back up when I've activated it so that's what it that's what the things look like um, there's other bars like that now we can take a look at medic quickly now there is a bar in the middle when you've got your medigun out, you can't see I've got my medigun um, but on the right hand side is your percentage and there is the bar in the middle now while you're healing people that bar will go up just like the other bars do um, but once you have 100% once you have full uber whatever medigun you're using once it's full and 100% the number on the right will turn green and the bar in the middle will turn green as well which is really helpful because it you know again it's another indicator that you've got you know your charge without having to look directly at the number because um, it's quite close to your eye line so that is what my HUD looks like that is what my HUD does um, if you've got any questions about it any issues any problems just let me know um, I'll put all the information in the description so you can get on and download it and install it if you want to use it that is um, and yeah I hope this video helped guys it's a bit of a tutorial video I don't really do many of these uh, but like I said I hope to help and any comments or feedback in the uh, sorry and yeah any comments and feedback in the comments is appreciated and I'll see you guys next time